Thank you. Uh, good evening or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the uh, Orange County Accelerator uh, Committee meeting. It is Wednesday, April 24th, 3.30 p.m. Um, and I will ask for a roll call, please, Bill. Dean, Dean, Dean Tamburi. Present. Me. Susan Walski. Present. And uh, member Giovanni Palladino is not present. He's ex uh, excused absence, uh, but we do have a quorum, of course, with two out of three. And uh, myself, Bill Fioravanti, Kelly Riley, IDA staff, Mr. Jose Rojas is here uh, handling our audio video. All right. Excellent, thank you. Um, the meeting proof of notice, the meeting was uh, duly and properly provided. And the minutes, uh, looking for approval of the minutes June 6, 2023. Get a motion and a second or any discussions? Having read the meeting, meeting minutes thoroughly, I motion to approve the minutes from June 6, 2023. Thank you. I will second it. I hope so. <laughs> okay. And all in favor? Last one there, sure. Yeah, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, motion we'll carries. And new business. Uh, Bill discussed the war accelerator closing. Yeah, Thank so you. this is the only business really for this accelerated meeting. Uh, this may be the last accelerated committee meeting, or after we officially close the Warwick site, uh, we may do one more. Uh, but I am really here to report to you that we are not closing, but we're removing the IDA from the last uh, accelerator site that we had in Orange County. Uh, it's at the Warwick um, Warwick Valley Office and Technology Corporate Park, as we call it. A lot of people call it the Warwick Tech Park. It's the former prison site, the Mid-Orange mm -hmm. Correctional Facility, of course, that the IDA invested uh, three and a half million dollars to help turn into a thriving business park. Well, we, we were renting the manor house from uh, the town of Warwick, renting it for a dollar for the entire five-year term. Uh, because of our, our collaborative relationship with the town. And then we had subtenants in this manor house building on the campus, uh, which were these accelerator clients, of course, businesses that were trying to help either incubate or accelerate the growth of their, their companies. Um, as everyone knows, we, because of the malfeasance that happened uh, at the hands of the bad actors that were here at the IDA before this administration, um, they uh, really ruined the program, frankly and uh, ruined the name for it, and we've been dismantling it, obviously, for the last couple of years. This is really the last step. Uh, it's been our only site for well over a year. We only kept it because it was not costing us that much. We made a small profit, but obviously we weren't in it for profit, uh, in that we were charging rents, and we only, again, paid a dollar. So we had over a year uh, left on the lease, but uh, we were eyeing around this time all uh, for a good year to remove ourselves. I had spoken to the former supervisor, Michael Sweeten, and then met with the new supervisor that came in, Jesse Dwyer, the former mayor of, of Greenwood Lake, explaining what our intentions were, that we wanted to leave early and just remove ourselves, and both supervisors were good with it. Uh, and then we moved forward with the current supervisor, Mr. Dwyer, of course. We sent him a, uh, a release letter, to us, you know, just stipulating that we're, we're removing ourselves from the lease and getting his sign in. He has signed that letter, so we do have that. Kelly is working with uh, town staff to transfer over any utilities uh, to the uh, directly to the business, or if the town wants to take it in their name. And we've we've connected the uh, the only last subtenant is technically what we'll call them uh, that we have there, which is Scripted Fragrance. I've talked about them a number of times in board meetings. They're really one of the few big success stories out of Accelerator. They're still a small company, but they've had tremendous growth. Uh, they've really thrived at that location. There were other tenants in the manor house of ours, subtenants again. Uh, but you know they've all kind of dwindled and while scripted fragrance has grown and they've taken over the entire manor house so I've connected uh, their owner Amber Lee Isabella with uh, the town supervisor we're getting ourselves out of the middle they are most likely the town will, will most likely rent directly to them it looks like it's going that way uh, it's frankly new revenue for the town since we weren't paying anything technically and the subtenant uh, will be um, and again we've gotten ourselves out of the utilities um, the uh, effective date of that letter that was signed by the supervisor releasing us is May 31st of this year. That coincides with the uh, expiration dates of the subtenant leases we have with Scripted Fragrance. I say leases plural because, again, they slowly grew in the manor house when others left. They took over space, so we have leases of different timings, but we all set them to end May 31st of 24 so that we're, our sublease is done with them, our lease is done with the, the town as their tenant, Again, uh, utilities and other uh, services are, are turned over, um, and we've offered to help script, script the fragrance in any way we can with their expansion someday, but 
as, as far as our role as their, their landlord at the accelerator and anyone's mm -hmm. landlord as the accelerator, we're done with that, frankly. Sounds good to me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I, I do, uh, again, the uh, supervisor signed that letter. We haven't received it yet. Did we send it to us? I'll share it with you all okay. when we have that. And the letter is in the back of the pack. Yes. Yes. yes, the letter is, as you see, it's unsigned by him. It's, it's our copy that we sent to him. Yes. Um, and that's really it. There's no other follow-up with any other IDA sites or anything, uh, but we are going to, there, the IDA, uh, I'm sorry, the accelerator is mentioned in, in our uh, agency bylaws, so that's something that if we are either going to completely discontinue this program, never to do it again, uh, then uh, we, we, we're talking with council about removing it from our bylaws through an amendment uh, approved by the board. Uh, otherwise, as I think you and I have talked about, uh, the possibility of could it come back one day in the right scenario. We are focused more on deploying our, our fund balance in, in shovel ready now, but you know the right scenario could, could, could come back uh, you know, years from now. Not closing the door on it, just leaving it cracked. <laughs> exactly, so I think that's the last piece to discuss with council again is uh, both legally and, and what is in good form in terms of how we handle the you know this committee and any reference to the accelerator. Do we keep it you know on the side somehow, or do we remove it now and, and uh, bring it back? I think that's later? probably something to discuss more in general session. Yes, exactly. And then you maybe if it did come back refreshed, completely refreshed, and whatever. Uh, the only thing my comments are I just you know give you and Kelly and the rest of the staff a great to slowly get out of this uh, and not to hurt the tenants as, as much as possible. That wasn't the idea. So I, I think so as we, over the time, here we are today, and I think it was a good you know transition to, to this point. Yeah, today. I think it's been very smooth. Thank you for and, all the work yes. you guys yeah, have Yeah, anything smooth, happen. Kelly gets credit for, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and among other things. Uh, especially kind of logistics and everything. She does a great job with that. And any complaints we've handled, uh, whether it's, you know, whatever, you know, issues with leaks and rodents, we've had it all. Uh, bees. Uh, and, and Kelly's really handled that. Uh, we've all as a team tried to, I've said it before in board meetings, handle all these accelerator clients who were put in a very awkward situation as we were. Mm -hmm. You know, with as much care and humanity and kindness and We've heard it many times that they've been treated better by us than they were by the folks that were operating this room. And so. of course, we wish only the best descriptive fragrance. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's a great story. Uh, it's something I, I think it would be good for us to really uh, maybe make some news about that, uh, you know, even in a positive way. They're kind of graduating from, from this, essentially, yeah. and uh, going to be a renting director mm -hmm. in the town. But it, that is a real success story and something everyone should be proud of, especially then. And anyone who's been keeping track of the IDA in this, in this uh, program knows yeah. that this is this is where we're going to end up one day, right? Right. so as we're as we we're closing them and and f finishing leases etc so here we are today and uh, thank you i don't think there's anything to vote on just uh, uh dean you're going to report at the board level you yes. know, after this correct that's about it so any other questions or anything else really? i don't have any further no i'm good this is we've been waiting for this day to come so okay. exactly. so then ask for a motion to adjourn the accelerator i'll make a motion i'll second it all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank all right, you. Motion carries. Meeting adjourned. Thank you. At Thank you all. 3.39 p.m. Thank you. Thank you.